Hey there, I'm KJ Walker from Decentraland and Low Poly Models World, and today we're going to learn about creating colliders for 3D assets. So, let's get into it. The 3D assets you can find in the builder already have colliders, but if you're adding a new model to your scene, you'll need to make some colliders to stop people being able to walk through your models. To make a collider for DCL, in 3D software, Add a new object to your scene in the same location as the model you want to make solid. This new object should be similar in size and proportion to your model, but as low poly as possible because colliders don't need as much detail as models. Once you're happy with the shape and size of your collider, simply change the name of the mesh by adding the suffix underscore collider, all in lowercase. Export the collider with your model. In Decentraland, you will not see the collider, but it will act as an invisible wall around the model and prevent users from walking through. If you have any problems with your collider, it's likely because of the direction the normals are facing. In Blender, go into Overlay Options and check Face Orientation. Your colliders should look blue and not red. But what are normals? In 3D space, any given plane has an inside face and an outside face. Generally speaking, you want your model to be made up of outside faces, but the inside faces, you know, inside. However, when modeling, sometimes planes can get confused and face the wrong direction. So it's important to make sure all planes are facing outward, both in colliders and in models. If you see any red faces, select them in edit mode and press shift N and flip normals. You can adjust this in the bottom left box. If the normals are facing the wrong way on a collider, a player will get stuck to the surface and need to reload the scene in order to get unstuck. So this is definitely something to avoid. If the normals are facing the wrong way on a model, it will change the way materials and textures are rendered by the engine. As a general rule of thumb, before exporting any models, take a quick look at the face orientation in Blender to make sure that all the faces are blue and good to go. Those are the essentials about creating colliders for Decentraland. If you'd like to learn more about building for Decentraland, you can take a look at this playlist. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please put them in the comment section below. Check out the box below for links to relevant documentation and feel free to visit my website, Low Poly Models World.